In this video, I thought I'd talk a bit more about life on the road. So, um, this is actually responding to a comment. Um, trying to keep up with the comments is proving increasingly difficult, but I've actually had a bit of an afternoon off, so I'm trying to catch up with the latest comments. So that's all good. And uh, one of the comments was explained a bit more about Airbnb and how it works. Um, so, yeah, I'm in an Airbnb. There is my bed. Um, in this one, I mean, it always varies. In this one, I've got this apartment to myself, uh, this little annex in the garden. Uh, so, you know, I've got a bed, I've got a little table where a cup of tea is brewing, obviously. Um, I've got a fridge, which is very noisy, and I have to turn it off at night. Uh, microwave, I've got my own supply of um, wheat bix but they've, sorry, wheat bix not wheat a uh, They supply tea, hot water, and they've supplied a jug of milk, although I've actually got my own because I've been on the road for a while. Um, suitcase is um, chucked down on the floor, and my dressing gown is in it because, oh, wrong way, one issue with this um, Airbnb, um, and they do vary, oh, I can't control my gimbal, have we heard that one before, is um, there is no toilet here. Um, I have to go to the main building, so the main building is there. And there's a little doorway in, which is thankfully covered, so I can go and do what I need to do. I'm not going to go into those two, but see the VX has got its very own parking space at this one. So, yeah, I'm on the back of their garage, and it works very nicely. So, um, i struggling to remember how much this one was, but I have a feeling it was £50 for both nights, because, um, oddly, I'm paying for my Airbnbs through my Airbnb account, so I'm paying on the UK account, so all my prices are directly in pounds. Um, I don't know what the New Zealand equivalent of that would be. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is ordinary people. Uh, they're a working couple. They've got children, adorable children, who were showing me around yesterday. And uh, this, this is what they do. Um, they make a little money on the side um, by um, renting out a room. And in New Zealand at the moment, I don't think that's tax deductible. So um, might be one reason the prices are so reasonable here. But I don't really do hotels, um, even in the UK. I prefer, um, well, I, I just like having my own space. And you get so much more variety with Airbnb because it's people's houses. And especially here, the houses are also very different. So I find it um, really interesting. There's a different places, different facilities. You know, some you'll have the whole house to yourself. Some you've just got a room in a shared house, so you're sharing with the people. And that can be a bit odd. I found that very odd at first when I first started using Airbnb because the more Hubner and the magazine work when I was doing that had taken me out on the road, the more I was going, I can't afford hotels. Now, hotels can be 60, 70 quid a night, and uh, sometimes that doesn't even include breakfast. And when it does include breakfast, it's usually some monstrous affair that I don't really much care for. Whereas with Airbnb, sometimes breakfast include, is included, sometimes it isn't, and I just have to sort myself out with some cereal and uh, something like that. And um, that's fine. I, I can kind of get that, because if you do get a breakfast, it's not going to be a full English. It's just going to be something continental. And um, that, that's um, more my style. You know, a bowl of cereal, maybe a croissant. Super. Perfect. Just what I want. Um, but yeah, this, you know, nice, nice surroundings here. We're not far from a main road, State Highway 14. Now we've got birds singing, there are sheep about. Occasionally there's a lady riding a horse in that field and jumping over things. I haven't seen her jump over a sheep yet, but you never know. Maybe tomorrow my luck will be in. And um, yeah, it, it's proving a very nice space. But it, it's something you have to get used to. You can try and judge a place online. And there are a couple of times in the UK where I've ended up with somewhere which just isn't really suitable. Um, you just it, It's like, you know, buying on eBay. You have to go and look at the feedback. And uh, feedback is left both for people who stay and the people who are letting you stay. So um, it's a very, um, yeah, it's very easy to see who's good and who's not. And uh, the really bad ones, if they start arguing with people in the comments, you probably should avoid them. Um, because, um, yeah, if they're doing that more than once, and the chances are they are the problem, not the people leaving the comments. But yeah, this one's really nice, really comfy room. The downside is I keep on going to lovely remote places with um, uh, hills outside and stuff like that. So I'm in the middle of nowhere. I thought I was near a fairly um, large town, but it turns out 
I'm not it's just a strip of houses so the internet speed is rubbish so at the moment my other phone I'm talking to you on the Oppo uh, my other phone is down there resting on a book acting as a router for my laptop so the vi the uh, you know it's not the BMW video that's already up uh, this is part nine I think is currently uploading as I speak and uh, the time in the UK at the moment let's just remind myself uh, oh no, it's time here. So yeah, it's four o'clock in the morning back home, so it's a good time to be uploading. So um, yeah, I, I want the video to go live at lunchtime, which is one o'clock in the morning here, which is why I don't respond to comments immediately because I am asleep. But um, yeah, that, that's when I'm trying to get the videos live. So this will be a slightly different one because I haven't really gone anywhere or done anything. It's just a bit of insight into me and my now slightly overbrewed cup of tea. Um, it's just a smaller update. Oh, and moving around too much really does confuse the gimbal. Hello. Haha. -ha! There we go. I'm, I'm learning how it works all the time. Yeah, another issue here is it's a bit mozzy and I have been bitten quite substantially in various places. That's um, germline trying to soothe them down a bit. Um, that wasn't actually from last night. Um, I did shut the windows fairly early, but it's stiflingly hot today, which is weird. It's clouded over and um, the, the heat can't escape so it's um, feeling warm if I'm looking sweaty that would be why um, but we'll see what weather unfolds um, I wasn't actually planning on doing anything today today was meant to be a bit of a day off I was at a museum earlier which is going to make a fantastic video that's going to be episode 10 and it's just going to be that museum I still think it'll be quite a long um, video I've got another road test to come uh, which amusingly belongs to the same person as the BMW Z3. It's a car he bought after meeting me, so that's a warning to the entire world there that I can be dangerous. And um, yeah, I was just going to sit there and read the book, to be honest, but I thought I'd respond to that comment. So there you go. That's just um, a one-take rant. Uh, rant? It's not a rant. It's all happy times. What am I about? About life on the road. I suppose that is one thing to address, the um, loneliness factor of um, being on the on your own on the road and it, it can be a factor last night i felt a bit miserable actually um i sort of sat there and i just felt exhausted i've done about 250 kilometers i had problem finding food because there's nowhere locally that does food and uh yeah i just got a bit down and grumpy and um yeah i, I might just have been tired because i had a lovely night's sleep and i feel much better and much more jolly today and uh, i think those swinging tides of mood Something that happened, it happened on the um, European trip, um, when I got to um, Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia, I was a broken man. I spent an entire day lying in my hotel room on the bed, not doing anything. I just couldn't handle a thing. I think I eventually managed to walk out to a shop to get some lunch at one point, and that was it. Um, I was not in a very good shape. But then later that night, I felt a bit better, and I went into the centre of Ljubljana for food, and it was amazing so um, yeah sometimes if, if, if you feel down you've just got to collapse and just let yourself um, do nothing and take it easy I mean bear in mind I've been on the road for two weeks now and there was all that stressful travel of flying over here as well so you do have to let yourself recover sometimes and I can't just keep churning videos out all the time even if it looks like I am sometimes I can record two videos in a day I only publish one video a day, so I earn myself a little rest. And sometimes, like last weekend, I just take the weekend off and don't post any videos. Um, but then you watch the YouTube earnings start dropping off and you go, oh, I've got all this petrol to buy and Airbnbs. So, yeah, there you go. That's just, um, that, that'll probably do, to be honest. But, yeah, so, sometimes you feel gloomy on the road and sometimes you don't. But reading your comments often perks me up a treat. So, um, thank you. It's nice to see these trips are so well received because you don't know with this lark you know I, I, I put these videos out there I never know how well they're gonna go down I thought episode 8 was a bit weak thank, uh, frankly I, I wasn't very pleased with it I was in a bit of a grump um, filming some of that but actually um, you seem to be responding really well to it and uh, it, it's all the good so um, yeah and everyone loved the Victoria Wood reference um, if you don't know what that's about you should probably try and find out. Um, it's a fun song. But anyway, my cup of tea is now stewing. So I'm going to wind this one up. I shall say thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you wish. Um, head to the Hubnut store where you can buy all manner of Hubnut goodies. Uh, I believe um, the white Hubnut mugs are now back in stock. I shall say farewell and see you in a future video.
Ta-da.